Well, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to our live broadcast here from WPPI. <laughs> Nothing like last second heroics from Mr. Jerry Guionis. Anybody here not know Jerry Guionis or Joe McNally? <laughs> they not been introduced to these fine photographers that I've known for many, many years, <laughs> most of which show up one time. And uh, thank you, Joe, for being here. Uh, Look, I, I love people, and people want a hug, and I want to give them a hug. And, and I actually thought it was at 1.30 on my schedule, but here we are. Well, welcome to our comedy <laughs> show. And this guy's um, local. That's the thing, you know? This guyy's local. Yeah. <laughs> Not so, remember the last time at CES when you came late? No, it was, it was oh, really Oh, my good. goodness. All right. So anyway, we have a very special program set up for you right now because uh, a gentleman in our office, Bill Giordano, had a really cool idea to have two of the best photographers in the world face off with each other in a portrait versus portrait kind of challenge, right? And um, I'm going to hold the clicker because I don't trust either one of you guys uh, moving <laughs> forward. Wise move. And, and, and really, I, I think that um, you, when we went out to Los Angeles, it was a really, really cool thing. So my first question to each of you, and Joe, you can answer first. I want to dive right in. Um, people can look you guys up online if they don't know who you are, but I'm sure they do. We give, we give you this call about photographing Jerry. What's your first thought? Well, I, I, was, I was nervous immediately. I mean, you know, because it's Jerry Guionis, you know? I mean, the master of the portrait, the glamour shot, the wedding, you know, spectacular picture, all that, you know, such a refined sense of style and design and light Stop and it. color. Stop you know, it. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I'll give him a massage while we're doing this, you know, because... But, you know, you're, you're nervous, right? Because you want to do well. And it's going to be on video. So, you know, you want to do well. So that my first reaction was to be a bit nervous. And then I took a jump into my imagination and started thinking like, all right, well, how am I going to do this? What is Jerry to me? What, what visually, how can I represent him with class and style? Mm -hmm. Mr. Guionis, you get this call. Um, I'm going to tell you, I, I think I had tears at the end of that phone call. Um, this is Joe McNally. I mean, here's the thing. Like, I'm known in the wedding and portrait industry, but this is a guy that's been on the cover of all the famous magazines all over the world. So it's a truly international crossover in, in, in the domestic world. So you could walk down the street and ask a security guard who is, you know, I just saw Jerry Gionis on stage, and they'll say, well, who... Who is Jerry Guionis? But chances are you'll actually know who Joe McNally is. I, so, I think you're being very humble at this point. Well, right? no, no. Does anybody not know who Jerry no, Guionis well, is in no. this world of wedding and portrait and boudoir? <laughs> no, but I'm saying, like, you know, Joe McNally, when I came into the industry, he, he was already a veteran and been photographing for decades. And um, to be honest, um, nervous, it wasn't nervous for me. It was just excited for a couple of reasons. One, I'm like, man, I get to be mentioned in the same breath as Joe McNally, other than as an ambassador. But also, I'll be honest that, well, when was the last time you had your portrait taken? So I, I don't look at a bride like a client. Like, a bride is a human being, is in love, has a relationship. So for me, it was, I want to photograph something beautiful and meaningful of this very handsome man. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and obviously play with the, with the toys and all that kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm going to reach out to our technical guys, because this is live stuff, right? You can't make it up. So this program's going bonkers behind us in the background. So we may just have to wing this for the next 30 minutes. So let's dig in a little bit deeper. And um, we'll go back to some of these pictures we can get them up. I want you to know, uh, someone photographed you sitting down. Who was that? <laughs> that, was, that was you, right? Is this not the best portrait you've ever taken? Second best. All right, thank you. <laughs> but um, we'll try to work out the technical stuff because I do want to run some of the video clips, and if not, we're running the loop in between breaks. But all right, Joe, so let's take it a step further. We'll jump the gun a little bit, and we'll run the pictures later. But you, where do you guys, you get this call, you, you, you realize you're going to photograph each other. Where does your inspiration, Joe, come for cry, trying to make something different, try to make this all work? Where do you go for that creative? Is it things you've thought about in the past and you bring it to Jerry? Or is it stuff that now you've created on the fly thinking about Jerry? Well, you were with me when the last minute inspiration occurred. But the very first thing I thought of, for whatever reason, I thought of Jerry Guionis and I thought of James Bond. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know how my brain works, but that's the way it worked, you know? <laughs> I mean, look at him, you know? You know? I mean, this right here <laughs> defines shaken, not stirred, right? <laughs> right? Right? A sense of cool, a sense of style, a sense of elegance, a sense of maybe even a little bit of danger, you know? <laughs> so I was thinking, like, immediately, for whatever reason, I thought tuxedo. A little glamour, a little style, elegance, all that sort of stuff. A certain, uh, you know, je ne sais quoi, as they say, you know. Like, you could imagine him at a fancy bar with a martini just kind of looking at you sideways. And so I took that along, you know, and I kind of, you know, let it kind of bumble around in my head for... Because you gave us the call, what, like... A month out, two months out, something like that. So, you know, you cook on things, right? You think about stuff. And then, as is oftentimes the case with me, at the last minute, I started realizing, this is a fancy mansion. It's going to have a pool. The pool will have blue water. Black and white tuxedo, blue water, what else do I need? Yellow surfboard. So the morning of the shoot, I bought a yellow surfboard. And I... Just a quick aside, we made the young man's day at the surf shop. It was one of those surf shops where it says outside 10 o'clock, open at 10 o'clock in the morning. Maybe. And the, <laughs> and, the, and the folks next door at the coffee shop were like, yeah, sort of, maybe, 10, 10.30. You know, but anyway, this young man came in. We, I bought a surfboard. It was 450 bucks, big yellow surfboard. And then we needed it to get delivered. So the young man was like, I'll deliver it for you. I said, okay, I'll give you 50 bucks to deliver it. Okay, at the end of the day, I looked at him and I said, you want to pick it up? Because I'm not taking it to New York. You can have the surfboard, dude. And he was like, okay, (laughs) you know? So I bought the surfboard. He probably got a commission. He got the delivery fee and then he got a board out of it. Mm -hmm. So I, I, you know, I made a nice picture of Jerry and I made some young man's day. And the good news is we're back on track, I'm hoping, so... Um, ah. You get to see all of this if you haven't seen the video or the end result yet. In fact, that picture you shot of Jerry on the surfboard became one of the big prints that we hung at CES and Photo Plus. And Jerry was there speaking with us both times. It was like, kind of like surrealistic to see you up there as a model, not I, the photographer stylist that you are. Well, I, w- I walked into Photo Plus. So can you imagine, right, like walking into a big convention like this and seeing a billboard of yourself that size, I'm like... I quit that night as a model. I'm like, I'm going to retire on top. I've got a Joe McNally portrait. I'm in the pool. I'm in a tux. I'm, I'm, I'm retired. Well, so, you are yeah. as good a model as you are a photographer. But let's <laughs> see if we can get some video to run here, if everything kind of works with us. Get some good volume here. Sound would work. If you can't hear what he's saying, what a beautiful location we're at right now. And, and look at this handsome guy. And I'm thinking about this, and I'm photographing Joe McNally, and look at that beautiful face in Joe, and I'm using this 85 millimeter lens, and he looks like Robert Redford, right? And, and so, and Jerry, he's just so handsome, and he doesn't know he's going into a pool. I can recite this, because I've seen this video about 50 times now. And, and we're gonna be shooting with the 85 millimeter Z lens, and we're so awesome, because we're so great together, and, and we have a man crush already on each other. So I'm not going to tell him yet, but I love his work, and, and he's like... <laughs> you should, you have a new career... Guys, I'm doing the best I can, you so... You have a new career in subtitles. A little bit of, yeah, no, <laughs> little bit of ad-lib, and hopefully we'll get sound in the next shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was really sound there, and that's cool, but when you see the video, you'll understand. They walk out onto the set, and they talk amongst each other. Wow, what a beautiful place we have in Malibu at this mansion that we could never afford, right? <laughs> what a beautiful location to photograph each other. That's the essence of that opening? Yeah, so when, when we, I mean, I don't know about Joe, but like I'm used to just normal homes. You know, I photograph weddings and portraits, so there's no real mansions, they're just an empty wall. And to be honest, I got excited about the location, but at the end of the day, I was more excited about the person. I want to photograph a portrait, I'm not photographing a location. And so for me, it was about shooting in little pockets of light and having some fun, but really creating something that I would be proud of, that... I mean, here, Gordon Ramsay's asking me to cook for him. That's pretty much what, what the case is. So in, in as much as it's nerve-wracking to, to do, I sort of flicked that switch in my brain. I said, you know what, let me just... He's a, he's a handsome guy. And it's so funny. Since I actually mentioned that, you know, you look a little bit like Elton John, Robert Redford, all those kinds of things. And uh, there's been a bit of debate. as to There's a certain age more. bracket you're hinting at there, Jerry, you know, Elton John. Well, let's just say they're, they're all iconic. 
<laughs> and they're sexy. So let's just. I, I think that was <laughs> one of my, my favorite lines in the video. It's, it's photographing Joe McNally is like cooking for Gordon Ramsay. I sure. mean, that was. You come up with this stuff. It's uh, the Hugh Jackman <laughs> stuff. I mean, we'll, we'll get into that and hopefully see some of these videos as we roll. But yep. this is a second video clip, Joe, of you now photographing Jerry. So I want you to think about being the model and you now being the photographer and directing someone you know knows what they're doing with a camera, right? So do, we sure. do we have sound? Well, we're gonna hope. I mean, if this thing takes off, we're, we're just rolling with this. Okay, can I subtitle it? Subtitle, go. Okay, hold on a second, hold on. Jo go for it. Okay, um, I really love Jerry, he's very handsome. Oh, wait a second, who's that other guy? He's more handsome, he's holding the ladder, he should be the model, wait a second. So the Jerry's thing wearing is, a Jerry, the thing is, Jerry, we're gonna put you in a pool. <laughs> Why can't I ever do anything simple, right? I Who's that guy, Mike Carrado, with those lines. tattoos? I don't know what's going on. I wish I, I wish I could actually wear Jerry's clothes. <laughs> Maybe you'll have that opportunity. But so let's go. Let's get going. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. And so pretty at, much. You know, I, I mean, I'm they've very, got it. I'm not very verbatim, hairy. but they've got it. I put know? all my trust in 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 Joe, and I'm gonna let him stand on a ladder because getting up on a ladder makes for a better picture, right? I never realized how hairy I am. You are actually watch a, you get a, nervous a pretty hairy guy, The surfboard Jerry. started rolling back and forth. You can come sit back down now. I feel very <laughs> creepy with you behind me. Um, I promise it's going to work out this sound issue at some point. But here's Jerry. Joe, speak to this as we go. Well, again, it's just impromptu solutions. My assistant literally had to strip down on the set. He wasn't prepared. He didn't have a swimsuit. So he gets into the pool with his skivvies on, and he submerges himself under the board to stabilize it so Jerry can actually position himself in a relatively comfortable way. The beautiful thing about this session was not only Jerry looked good, but I gave him a bit of an ab workout, you know, because he's like crunching, you know, <laughs> here, you know, on the surfboard. Callie, my first assistant, is underneath the surfboard holding his breath. I'm on a ladder. It's your typical you know, Photoshop, buy the seat of the pants, let's get a picture done here and now. And the, and the thing about it is, he's a very good looking guy, and, and when we put him in the pool, the sunlight took off on him really well. That is really hard, sort of nasty sunlight, very direct light, and it kind of carved a nice shadow on Jerry's face, and that's all I used, no flash, nothing. Just almost noontime, Los Angeles light. Pretty, you know, I, I was happy with it. What's the feeling you're now taken away from being behind the camera to being in front of the camera? You're looking up at this guy on a ladder, shooting down on you, bright sunlight. Talk well, about that. I mean, here, he, here's the thing. Every single person watching right now, if you know Joe McNally, he's, he's on a pedestal, right? So for me, He's literally on a pedestal. <laughs> a ladder pedestal. And I'm floating, and I'm just trying to stay balanced rather than di sort of dip in. But it was a surreal moment because, like I said, you, you have one of your heroes. You have a hero that it's been so many. And as you can see, he's such a, such a humble person. And, and, and all the things that he's done and the what you give back to the industry, what you've done for, for people to understand you know, off-camera flush and just... Your, your grace and what you do is a perfect role model for someone like me in the next generation. So it was truly humbling. It was very surreal, but it was just full of gratitude, I've got to say. It's like, I can't believe I am here with Joe McNally, and this is just some young Greek-Australian boy who grew up in Melbourne, and now I'm in Palm Springs with this legend and icon of the industry. And, and I love the portrait. Were we in Palm Springs or were we in Malibu? Palm, Malibu, Palm Springs, whatever. On a and, map, and, it's and like this Look far at away. this creative picture you guys just took. I just want you to see all of the digits. <laughs> and... <laughs> so we're obviously still working it out in the background, but um, yeah, hopefully, hey guys too, if we could just load the pictures that they shot, that would be awesome. Um, we're gonna do our best to get that stuff up. So, all right, now it's your turn to photograph Joe. Yeah. Right? Um, you're cooking for Joe, right? Well, here's the thing. Um, I'm looking around, and, and, and at the start, I was trying to find a, a, a good location, which is, you, you, you know, we, we hire this amazing place in Malibu, and I'm like, that, that's against my instinct. My instinct is, let's just find the best light. Now, I was attracted to a particular location. There was sort of like a tunnel of sort of those vines and things like that. And, you know, when you've been, you know, when you've been on this earth a little bit longer, and, and all, every line smiling on, every line represents another magazine shoot, another cover that Joe's photographed, so for me, I wanted to bring that texture out mm -hmm. and that maturity, but I, you know, he's a, he's a handsome older gentleman. So I'm like, how do I do that? So 
We did this beautiful profile shot, little edge lighting there to separate him from the background. Mm -hmm. that, uh, that little hint of a squint that added a bit of mystery in the eyes. And, um, and it, it, the cool thing was that, like, we're the same height. You're about 6'2", right? About 6. Yep, so 6'6", six, six, you know. So I thought, wait a second, I, I think I've got some clothes here that Joe can wear. So I brought up my, all my wardrobe and um, Joe got into my pants. <laughs> yeah, and even funny, it's it was funny. I was talking about this I with Joe last it. night. <laughs> Joe, we were talking about last night. Joe, like, he's so proud to put out all his clothes. And Jerry goes over, doesn't say anything. You're about my size. Come over to my clothes. Um, for, I brought all my best stuff, too. And I'm like, what do you think, Jerry? And he's like, come on over here, Joe. And right. literally, not a stitch of clothing is mine, you know, in that entire shoot. The jeans, the shoes. Jerry gave me the shoes at the end of the shoot. I didn't bring them with me because I've been on the road for a month. But uh, he gave me this beautiful set of shoes at the end. And he says, here, th these Very you. generous that way. You know, and it was wonderful. And the only not wonderful part was a black <laughs> turtleneck and a black jacket on a hot Los Angeles day. About 95 I, degrees I, that I day. I do if have I to say that was a little kind of, you know. All right. Do we feel good know? right now? You feel good? Nice and positive? I click this button. The video is going to come. Maybe we'll get sound. If we don't get sound, Jerry, talk through this sure, no problem portion of the video. With Joe, I have a couple of different things I want to try. I see him as a director, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glorify a set with a painted background. I've got some of my own wardrobe I'm going to put on Joe. He's got a cool factor that I want to bring out today. Like an onion, I want to peel back some layers and <laughs> hope not to cry. <laughs> Who's your favorite Australian? And don't say Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Sometimes when you're in an incredible location like we are today, we can get intimidated because it's so amazing. Well, where do you start? I just start where the good light is. That's it. Turn that knee a little bit more this way. And just twist. Well, first of all, we've got an uh, incredible character face. And every line on Joe's face represents another shoot, another Life magazine cover, National Geographic campaign. And that's what I want to bring out. But now, keep your face there, just your eyeballs. Here, it's going to feel weird. That's it. Good. A pattern is interesting, a pattern interrupted is even more interesting. So I'm the interruption in the pattern of this archway here. For me, I like to actually focus where the whites of the eye actually meet the socket. The eye autofocus is a huge assist. For me, it's pinpoint. You can get exactly where you want to go. You know what the beautiful thing is about this is I'm learning a lot right now. Because <laughs> Jerry's a master at posing people, so I'm learning stuff by the second. I know you're lying, but it makes me feel good. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm not lying. <laughs> now. Turn your face this way again. The key to this is you've got to crop context to improve the mystery. If you show too much context, you know where he's standing, it's not as exciting anymore. But the minute I crop it, all of a sudden, again, this could be a set of a movie. And again, I, this is no joke. I'm not trying to be kind. He looks like Robert Redford just in, in between sets here. I've never seen him so beautiful. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, Jerry can do anything at this point. He had me at bring your chin forward. <laughs> I got to tell you, every one of these lines that came out during this, this production, uh, and Alex Garash, I should give him credit for being the director on this, um, it, it was just an amazing experience to be behind the scenes. The thing that was cute about all this is what, what happens when we do these types of videos. You guys will have 10 minutes to shoot each other because we have to do all of this footage, and we had to really convince them that the end results, I mean, that was so important to, for you to have time to do the work. Now, as we move forward, Joe, I'm going to bring up the pictures you shot of Jerry. Just a couple of words on each picture and, and a little bit more of that execution and, and what you felt when you made. Was this the frame of all the pictures you shot of Jerry that day? You know, why did this one stand out? Well, it's just, you know, color, light, design, and a great subject. <laughs> you know, there's a charisma, there's a magnetism there. That's what I was trying to go for. And so you're also looking, you know, because his style is so definitive, I wasn't looking so much for subtle here. I was looking for pop, I was looking for impact, and I was looking to stop your eyeballs and make you look at the photograph. So the combination of the complementary colors, the hard sunlight, the black and white tuxedo, the sunglasses, it makes you stop, right? It makes you like, what's going on here? You know, so that's what you're trying to do as a photographer, is you're trying to arrest somebody's attention. Because we're visually inundated, right? I mean, look at all the stuff around us. You want somebody to pause and look at the photograph. So I think that that does this. And also does, it's an homage to Jerry. He just looks great in this picture. Looks very self-assured, very confident. That's my image of him when he's behind the camera. And just as an aside too, when I said I was learning a lot, I was not lying. Jerry's a very precise poser. 
So if you notice what he was doing there with his hand gestures, he was kind of dialing my head in. And I'm like a chatterbox at camera. I'm just kind of letting people do what they do. It's like, yeah, that's great. That's good. That's fine. That's fine. In my head, sometimes I'm going, that's terrible. That's awful. Oh, my God. Please stop. But <laughs> I never say that, you know, on the set. You're looking. I'm looking for things to tumble forward in a mildly chaotic way until we arrive at a good conclusion. He has this mind behind the camera, and you can see it. I wasn't allowed to even go like this. It was like, no, come back, come back, move your knee, okay? The eyeball thing, great tip, you know? I never knew that. So I'm like soaking in all this information while I'm posing for a master photographer. It was a fun day. Talk about the second picture, Jerry, uh, at the piano. Well, that was just, I, I saw the piano, I saw the light, and uh, I mimicked the light you know, with a, a large uh, flash system, you know, a little bounce, a little kind of big octa kind of light. And it just kind of graced him really nicely. I love the scarf. And again, there is that sense, the piano gives the sense of a, of a master, of someone who really knows what they're doing. So yeah, I just love the setting here. And your favorite picture of the entire shoot, I believe. Well, yeah, that was, this is where I actually put my foot down, if you recall, with the video crew. They were like, no, we need a few more. And I'm like, no. You're going to stop right now, and I'm going to get this picture, and you're going to stay out of my way. Because the light was falling, and I knew what I wanted. And when, when you get to that point as a photographer, you really do have to be a bit of a bulldog. And pleasant, but a bulldog. You have to get through. <laughs> and so we just got this, just at the edge of the light. Can I just add something there? So just so, just so you guys know, so the whole day, the, the video crew were setting their, their lights up and their angles and perspectives and things like that. When they set it up, we literally had a few minutes per shot, per right. person. Yep. And just what you don't know, and I've never told you this, before that shot was taken, you said that, and I walked back to, to, the, to the filmmakers and I said, this is Joe McNally. Give him time to photograph. Thank I you for mouthing that and not yeah, thank saying you, it, thank by the you. way. Yes. Much appreciated. Yes. Like, nobody knows I, you said fudge. I, I, I literally said that. I mean, give, like... Give Gordon Ramsay's like time to cook, don't mm. you know? Well, now Not it's your time, your time here. to cook with Joe and photographing Joe. Talk a little bit about this setup. You talked about it before, but look, this setup uh, obviously is a bit of a homage to various painters that have included themselves um, within a painting, whether it's a reflection or anything like that. So here I have this chance to, to photograph an icon in the industry, and I'm like, well, selfishly. How do I get myself in the photograph? <laughs> I mean, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Because, you know, it's tough to do. But I'm like, well, let, let me bring a mirror. And I thought of the, the old Hollywood lights. I thought that would be really, really cool. I actually asked Joe to bring your first Nikon camera that you basically have. Um, how, how old is that camera that, you, that you've got there? Was that was one of your first cameras? One of the first cameras I used on assignment, yes. It was a, a motor-driven Nikon F. You know, and it didn't even have a grip on it. it you had to reach under the camera and, and squeeze a button that was on the base plate, the motor-driven base plate. So I don't know if you know about a Nikon F, it came apart in two pieces. There wasn't a swing gate on it, the camera came apart. And then you'd slip your film in and then jam the motor back on. And you could literally, it was a good camera, great camera, durable, and you could also really, really, as they used to say, hammer a nail with that camera. Mm -hmm. And it was amazing that, um, again, I only had about five minutes to take this photograph, mm -hmm. and I'm using a thousand watt Hollywood lights here, mm -hmm. tungsten. I'm like, I've got the master of light right next to me. I'm not going to use a speed light off camera with, <laughs> with a Joe McNally. That's just not going to happen. And this, this is not an edited, but you didn't shoot two pictures. This is one shot. Yeah, right? it's one shot. So, so you didn't put yourself in this picture in post. No, no, no. I no, think it's brilliant. I mean, it just, it just shows the mastery of So of, we had the fringe of the light sort of tickling him on both sides. And uh, Joe's wearing my clothes. And there I am in the background. So for me, this is very much, it was, it, it was a selfish legacy portrait. You know what um, I was disappointed at, though? Yeah. He got to walk away with all the goods. You didn't give me anything on that <laughs> shoot. Man, I've, I've given you enough. All right, the Robert Redford <laughs> photo. A little quick thing about this. Talk about this. Well, man, you got Robert Redford, JFK, Elton John. They all had a love child, and this is a photograph. Um, <laughs> you know, so shooting at the 85 mil lens, F1.8, I love the fact that it's so predictably sharp. It's so, so spot on. Mm -hmm. um, I think any of us that shoot at 1.4, whatever it may be, it's just hard to lock on. It's easier to lock on. This is it's a patch of sunlight, and uh, I gave him a really cool gesture. We've got those really cool glasses as well. Again, wearing my clothes, um, and a beautiful shadow light play as well. 
Um, the next shot is probably one of my favorites. I mean, you've got this incredible rich history that's written all over his face in a good way. And he's a handsome guy. To be able to capture this kind of portrait, for me, it's a, it's, a, it's a legacy portrait. And again, it doesn't matter whether it's on the cover of a magazine. The fact is that I got to photograph some... I have one degree of separation between Joe and all the people that you've photographed. So to immortalize that in a fraction of a second, mm -hmm. on, honestly, was a true honor for me. So now you guys do this assignment. You're shooting. I know you sat down there and on the camera display, you got to look at each other's photos real quick. But after all is said and done, you both had a chance to edit. Um, start with you, Jerry. When you saw the pictures Joe shot of you, what's your thought? Did it work? Did it not? Was there things you liked, not liked? Be honest. No, I, look, the, 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 the blue and the yellow, of course, is the color harmony and the color wheel is very complimentary. It, to be honest, like, I didn't even think about it. I just enjoyed the process. I was just watching him work and I'm like, well, I don't, what is he looking at? How is he cropping? And I thought, you know what? Let me just enjoy it. And when he showed me that photograph, I was blown away. I, I, for me, it was a, a, a true classic that I don't get to be photographed like that. I get to do that for other people. So to get his perspective and have his signature on it, honestly, was, was breathtaking for me. So you got the, uh, the, the first shot um, that he makes in the pool. Then you got the second shot at the piano and the third shot at sunset or dusk. Which one's your favorite? Look, I've got to say the blue, the blue and the yellow one. The sunset one, I think, was, was poignant because, again, this is, this is Joe, who, who's pop, you know, really taught a whole generation how to use off-camera flash. So I think that was really important for me, again, selfishly. Um, the one by the piano I thought was really cool, but certainly the blue and the yellow one, um, which is a big, huge poster on the other side of this wall, is up. Um, that, that, I mean, they're all beautiful, but that one just had that extra spice, and it was the first one. And mm -hmm. you know, who wouldn't want to get in a swimming pool for, for Joe McNally? All right, so Joe the director, Joe the Robert Redford, Elton John kind of mix. Um, the, of the photos that Jerry took of you, do you have a favorite? Which one stands out to you as the one you like the most? Well, you know, it, it, it's hard to, hard to pick, but honestly, I, I mean, this is not cool, right? I mean... Stop it. You know, Jerry made me look my cool. My pookum, stop it. You know, Jerry made me look cool. So that was like a gift. You see, as a photographer, that's what you do with your subjects. You're actually giving them a gift, right? And I've oftentimes, well, not, maybe not oftentimes, but I've sometimes said to folks, you know, that's going to be the best picture that's ever shot of you. And I think that's the gift he gave me on that day. Uh, I love the profile picture. He's right. There's a lot of history there, you know. And then with the glasses, I never, I don't think I've ever been photographed with these cool glasses where I actually could be like a director of a Hollywood movie. That was kind of this cool deal. And you know what you, you want as a subject, and I felt that day very strongly, was I felt cared for, right? As a photographer, what you do for your subjects is you care for them. You are careful of their feelings, their thoughts, their sensibilities, all of that, as well as the look of the photograph. And that enables them to have a tremendous sense of confidence, which radiates back. And that gives you the gift at camera. Uh, we couldn't finish on a better note. I uh, thank you guys for coming up here and sharing. I guess, Joe, you're going to come up next yes. uh, and do a, a, a nice 30-minute program on your work. So guys, stick around when we transition to the set. This was probably one of the most fun assignments I ever, have ever had. When the idea came out, it was absolutely yes, we need to do this. We need to make this video work. You guys brought it together like no two people I've ever seen before. It was so nice to see you back and forth because I did note like some weird vulnerabilities. Like all of a sudden, you're the model. You're not, and you've been photographed before. You've been on video before. So, but you guys, I thought, I mean, you nailed it. Um, the 85 millimeter lens was just the tool in all of this but I'm glad it satisfied you both. You made some great images. Guys, thank you for hanging in there. Um, great dialogue. We're going to make a quick changeover in the set. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, and Joe, you're up next. All right. So I'm going to introduce you in just a few. All right, sounds good.